hi my special angels welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to be making those diamond mesh cover-up that we have been seeing all over the internet lately even though it's almost the end of summer i still wanted to make it so this fabric is called rhinestone stretchy fabric diamond mesh i got it off etsy and I think it's only $7 I paid for it. So I end up using two of them. I didn't have any black thread. So I end up using uh, this gray one right here. So this is pretty easy. All you have to do is just print. <laughs> I can't talk. All you have to do is just place the rhinestone where it's shining on the back. And then place another one on top of it on top of the front. And then all you're going to do is just sew across like what I'm doing at the top of it that's where your head is going to go through so you just sew a little bit across top and then a little bit across the other side so you can push your head through it now we're working on the arms the arms is pretty simple i just eye it i just look at it and I, i'm ugh. i just look at it and i'm like how much space do i want with my arm and then i just start sewing going over under and then tying it in a little knob if you don't tie it then it's gonna come on loose so i suggest you do that and that's it since it's a mesh fabric all you have to do is just go into the mesh because clearly there's a space just go in make sure you get both of the fabrics you know just sewing down one thing make sure you get both of them and you can see i just finished the arm and that's how it's looking and this is the top part i sewed both sides the arm you can clearly put your arm through it and with the top my head can fit right in there i end up needing a little bit more space on my head because i got my hair crochet so all i did was just undo the threads just like that and i was good so that's what i'm doing right there pushing the needle through and then pushing it through the hole again and then tying it so it could fit perfectly i hope that makes sense <laughs> so this is how it looks it looks so good this will be so cute wearing it with some swimsuits underneath the bottom since i made it as a dress or you can make it as a two-piece just cut it in half you can have a skirt and a top i end up doing mine with two slit at the side which you guys will see soon Look at it shining. It looks so good. Oh, and you can also turn it into some pants. People are wearing it as pants and all they're doing is just wearing like a large oversized shirt or they, I see people wearing it as a blazer. Just put a blazer over it and then just have it as some pants and then just do wearing some clear heels. Just like that, you're good. I did need a little space in the arms, but other than that, it turned out perfectly. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. It was pretty quick and easy. And hopefully, I will see you guys in my next video. Maybe I'll turn these into some pants. I don't know. Or I can just do a two-piece. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm going to leave it as a dress for a while before... I do any cutting up to it. <clears throat> yep, that's it. This took me like a good three, four minutes. Da -da 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 -da. Do -do -do. That's basically it. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> I think I said everything I needed. I just love this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Did I tell you guys where I got this fabric from? It's from Estes. Just in case I didn't say it in the beginning. I'm saying it now. Alright, that's it. Bye.